morning around 9 o'clock, UCLA decides to reject my appeal. Oh! 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 And I have to say, they're about to re regret their decision. So yeah, they send you this letter telling you that you're not good enough, that you're not smart enough, that you're not privileged enough to be on their campus. But you know what, you're wrong, and I'm not going to let you define and tell me how smart I am how hard I have ever worked because I have. As a matter of fact, I question your intelligence because you, your campus needs that leadership that I and many others can provide. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you want, you know, you want leaders. We have got them. We have a room full of them. Yep. That's right. And to be honest, uh, why don't you tell us the real reason why you denied admission to us? What is it that you're so scared of that we're going to make your feet tremble? And you have no idea what it's like having to, you know, watch your father get deported right in front of you. When I went and I visited him, he was behind that glass. You don't know what it's like having to, having him about to be deported and your mother pregnant, having, having her working a minimum wage job, and because she doesn't have paper, she's humiliated by her own family. You don't know what that does to you. Having your father come back, like he's some kind of animal. Like the, he was, you know, you have to walk through the desert, and when he was there, he saw Border Patrol circling that place. And they couldn't go. It's middle of the night, the Coyote left them. What were all those people supposed to do either? They stay or they try to go back. They try to go back with no food, no water. Because they thought they were going to get, they're going to walk through. All that money that they spent on the Coyote was lost. You know, they're left there to fend for themselves. Like they're animal, like they're not worthy of anything. So I'm tired of that, you know, and that changed me. And it did something, you know, and I'm mad and I'm angry. And I'm, that's why I'm here. And I'm tired of just talking about all the injustices and inequalities I see around me. No, you know, this is why I'm bad because you know it's time to take action. Yeah. It's right to show them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, these UC systems, they have gotten away with, you know, their color colorblind admission policies, you know. You know, you need to change that because you're not fooling anyone anymore. And obviously nope. we're here and we're showing you that. You need to do something about it. And like Gichu was saying, you know, it's, if, these, if you get accepted into these universities, it changes you. It can change your baby from having a child. Because what is the person supposed to do that doesn't get to UCLA, UC Berkeley, or any UC? Go to community college, and statistics show that you will more, more likely not to end up going to a four-year institution. You know, what is that? You know, we need to get our bachelor's degrees because we're going to be majority in the future. What do you want to be, uneducated? Let educate us, you know. So, you know, you're a public university. Public university is supposed to serve Californians. Like Yvette was saying, you know, what are you doing? Accepting 40, raise 40 percent of admissions to outside students. That is not fair for all of those that are trying to get in, that are working at it. And I don't know what more I need to show you that I want to be here because I'm standing here and I'm doing something about it. And. You know, you need to meet all demands, whether it be, you know, double underrepresented students now, mm -hmm. extend the appeal process now, and admit them now. And and this is this is the time now, not tomorrow and not later. We are organized and we'll achieve all our demands by absolutely any means necessary. Yep. So you decide what it'll be, whether it'll be the easy way or the hard way. And honestly, we are prepared <laughs> for the challenge and when we win, victory will be just that much sweeter. Yep. Woo!